Okay, what is going on, guys? And today I'm going to be giving you, giving you. Today I'm going to be. Sh okay, today I'm going to be doing a showcase of a modern house I built. Um, I don't normally do modern builds if you're familiar with my channel, but if you're not, then I'm going to start doing them a lot more. Even if you are, I'm going to start doing them a lot more. So yeah, usually I do medieval type thing because it's something I'm more comfortable with building because I feel like I'm I'm good at it and I can do them and. Well, yeah, I sort of understand how they're done. But anyway, I want to start doing modern houses a lot more. Because they do kind of look nice. And even though I'm not 100% happy with how this one turned out, uh, I have put a lot of effort into it, and it's taken me a couple hours. So if you could maybe leave a comment, maybe some criticism, or constructive criticism, or even something that you thought you liked about it, and would like to tell me, then I'd really appreciate that. And if you could leave a like, that'd be awesome as well. So, on to the tour. Um, we'll start off here. Um, I've got my sort of gravel pathway leading up to it and these sort of Skyrim style walls you know because they sort of take up the space and they sort of you know they tell you where you need to go and you know I would have put one there but if you think like it would have it would have been too overcrowded so yeah so I'll tell you that you know if you're building it in your world you have to think about what it would yeah you know you have to think about what it would feel like so um, if I go over here first this is a sort of little pond, you know, with the flowers, uh, the red and yellow flowers and the trees around here. They make it look quite nice. And I've thrown a couple benches in, you know, you can sit here at night or you know, in the evening, you know, just chilling out in your Minecraft world. Or maybe even do a bit of fishing, I think, like on the practical side of things. So, onto the, onto the house. And can we catch the sunrise? Nope, I don't think we can. So, the shape of the house, it's a sort of, if you imagine a W without the this is a bad example. If you imagine, there you go. <laughs> as I'll show you, uh, that glowstone on the roof I need to cover up, but it's just to provide a little bit more light. But if you, you can see the sort of shape I've gone for, a sort of, I don't know, and then, and then the roof's like curved in. If I'm giving you a good enough view of it. Okay, so the video cut out a bit there, so I'll just continue as normal. So I've gone with the sort of cornered porch type thing here, and. As you probably saw, I just when I did a little overview then, I've got the sort of standard things with glowstone on top. I thought it looked kind of cool. Again, I want to put like a little canopy here, but um, I'll explain why I didn't in a second. So if we head inside, close the door behind us. And this is a sort of main area. Oh, right down here first. Sort of eating area with a sandstone floor. It's quite cool. I didn't want to use wood because I thought then with the steps it wouldn't have looked, wouldn't have looked quite as nice. And as with most modern builds I've seen, I've seen and that I'm going to hopefully do in the future, I'm going to try and put like as much like leaves in as possible, because it looks kind of cool. And it sort of stops the wood looking too overused, if you know what I mean. And, well yeah, and as well with the glass. And I just realised it's supposed to be stone there. Oh well, you didn't see anything. You didn't see anything. No, but, yeah, I'm going to use a lot of glass, like you can see. I like these bay windows so you can see out and it looks cool. You know, you can see what's going on. Again, here at the back. And with the windows there. Uh, and plus it lets a lot of light in. So you don't maybe need to use as many torches. But anyway, onto the rest of the tour. There's a little window here. <laughs> uh, you know, sticking on like a practical side of things, if you're going to do this in a survival world, I've got some chests. There's like plenty of room for chests. Uh, you could even put like a basement in. Uh, I didn't actually think about that whilst I was building it, otherwise I would have put one in. But then that obviously could be used for like mass storage and you know, maybe save up a bit of space inside for more decoration. But you know, it's up to you. Uh, this is a sort of design I've done, like a corner desk. Um, I like this design. I, it's probably been done before, in fact I'm probably almost certain it has. But I thought, you know, I, I've I made it so I'm just gonna not like assume I made it. Makes makes me feel good. <laughs> so yeah, it's like a corner desk and then a chair there. And again with the bookcases um around here. They like kinda take up the space and you know they make a bit more decoration with the blue and the gold and the light colours of the texture pack. So and if I haven't mentioned it's Dokercraft High. Unless you know everyone's heard of Dokercraft. Anyway, uh, it's a sort of kitchen area. That sh that should actually be stone. And then I've gone with a shield there, so it's like a sort of worktop, and then just shield as decoration. Um, a little table here with a chair, obviously. You know, sitting down and eating. Obviously, you can't sit down and eat. 
We could. You could just, like jump on the chair. Well, I can't because there's a beam there. Okay, so you can't do that, but it's more for decoration. And then again, some more chests. Maybe you could put your food in there. I don't know. But let's head upstairs. Um, if you do, I can't do a tutorial on this, unfortunately, because it's one of the, it did take me a couple hours to do, and I don't think I could replicate it. But you know, some of the concepts and some of the designs in this you can maybe implement in your world. That's that's as much. And if I'm quick, I'm pretty cast the sunset. Um, so I've got the fence here, looking down onto the stairway, and again more bookcases, and as well with the the windows here, the bay windows, and there, and with the grass, grass, and with the leaves. Again, make it look a bit nicer. And chairs with. I feel like I've rushed through this. Anyway, the chairs here with the fence, and we can watch the sunrise, which is quite nice. And I wouldn't, I would have put a chair there, but I thought I'd mix it up a bit and have like a little desk. Because if we look out here, we can see down onto the, you know, like the entrance, which I think looks quite nice, and the porch, and as well you can from this glass, and I think that's quite a nice view down there. You know, it's just me. So head down here, up through it. It's just some bedrooms, nothing much. You know, just normal bedroom in there. Oops. No. Nah. My door. I just leave it. Um, and again through here, this is a slightly bigger bedroom, but you know if you are using it for maybe just a house on your own, if you're going with this design, if you can maybe replicate this, um, which I'll give you a medal, I'll actually go out and buy you a medal if you can replicate this, and you know if you are going to build this, maybe this could be used as a storage room, you know it doesn't have to be a bedroom, but yeah, and so wooden beams right there. Um, I would have put some wooden beams there, but I decided just to leave it as an airspace and then put them across there. I don't know. It looks, looks more like a, a proper structure rather than just having the walls stood up by themselves. Um, I guess that's it for the interior. If we head downstairs, go into the gardens. Oh, and as well, another thing I'd like to mention. I'm going up in subs so fast, and that's really good. So I really appreciate that you actually enjoy watching this. Because it appears that people are subscribing, and you know, I'm going to do this more because you just want to watch it. And it's fun to do as well. So yeah, kitchen again. Uh, you know, the window's looking out, and it's raining. Let's turn the rain off. Let's head out here. This is a sort of garden area where you, make it, where you can maybe sit, and a little chair. And this is why I like the glass. You can actually look through, and I just, I just feel that looks really nice, being able to look through. You know, or look out, for that matter. So again with the trees and Skype's going off. And stop it. Skype's like not okay, I'm just gonna quit Skype. Isn't that gonna do it again? Okay. Um again with the trees, these sort of create a more private and feel more enclosed. And it just I don't know, it lo looks a lot nicer. With the trees and the flowers and stuff. And then over here we've just got like a lake. I guess a big pond. Don't really class as a lake. You, you can maybe uh, you know it's more of a looks on this because this isn't a survival world but you know if it was you could use this on a more practical side like just to fish in for food and things like that and the trees is like a border and yeah that is it for the house tour um, I hope you enjoyed um, I have put a lot of effort into building this and I feel it came out quite nice that's what she said or what he said no mind. See, I, f I do feel like, like it looks quite good in the end. I, I was halfway through building it and I wasn't really sure. But no, it definitely came out like... Not really how he intended it. I sort of went into it with a basic shape. And it just kind of turned out to be this. So yeah, I'm getting lag spikes. So... Ah. Stop. Are they going to stop? Are they going to stop? Oh, no. no. Lag spikes. Stop it. Okay, so I'm going to just watch the pond. And... I'll say it, I hope you enjoyed, and as I say, I did put a lot of effort into this, but the same thing, I did enjoy building it, and look, <laughs> it's lag spiking, it's annoying, just stand still, you can't notice. Is it stopped? Nearly. Nah. Oh, so yeah, um, I have put a lot of effort into this, and obviously you guys are enjoying uh, my channel so far, because I've, why well, yeah, stop now. Um, you enjoying so far, because I'm getting uh, like 200 odd subscribers, that's like, 200 people that's like a whole year at my school like just constantly watching and that's really awesome and makes me want to do this more so yeah um hope you enjoyed i hope you can leave a like and some constructive criticism 
or you know just complement the build because I think it came out quite nice and oh well, yeah maybe subscribe if you want to see more of this type of thing in the future because I probably will be doing a lot more builds and as always I'll link my let's play in the corner and the hunger games I did because that was a lot of fun as well so I do recommend checking them out other than that um, I hope you've enjoyed and I hope you may have learned something and oh well, yeah see you guys later